Hi everyone, Jay here back again with more mobile phone photography tips for our DMCI Homes communities. Our topic for today is cityscape photography and three tips on how to use your mobile phones to take better cityscape landscape shots. Let's go! Tip number one, shoot in the right light, shoot in the best light. Photographing cityscapes is like photographing wild landscapes. And in nature photography, the most important principle is to always shoot in the best light. For cityscapes, that happens to be two very specific moments of the day. And that's what we call golden hour and twilight. So shoot at sunrise or sunset because these are the moments where the sunlight is still soft and not harsh. Hindi pa matingkad yung ilaw. During golden hour, which is the one hour after sunrise or the, the last hour before sunset, these are the moments that talagang suave yung kulay para sa cityscape natin. So kung gusto niyo na talagang appealing yung shots niyo at saka maganda yung kulay, mag-shoot po tayo sa umaga o di kaya sa hapon at wag na wag sa tanghali. Take note po na if you're going to shoot at sunrise or sunset, it's best not to include the sun directly in the frame because even the most the newest phones right now they're still not capable of recording the intense brightness of the sun. Pwede nyo namang isama yung araw sa shot, pero hindi pa rin siya kasing ganda. Katulad nung kung gamit nyo ay talagang DSLR na may mga filters. So, in that regard, I suggest that you compose or you shoot side-lit cityscapes where doon nakikita kung sa yung bagsak ng araw. Instead of shooting directly towards the sun, shoot the part of the cityscape that is receiving the sunlight for best results. The other best moment to photograph cityscapes is what we call blue hour or twilight. In the Philippines, that's usually around 10 minutes after sunset. The reason why we love to shoot in this time is meron na pong ilaw yung mga buildings, naka-on na yung mga ilaw nila, naka-on na rin yung mga street lights. So there's really color, maliwanag po yung ating foreground. And yung warm color na to, complements the blue color of the sky. At this time, hindi pa masyadong madilim, hindi pa talaga totally nighttime, so may konti pang color na blue sa sky. And yung combination na yun ng warm tones on the foreground, on the cityscape, together with the blue cool tones of the sky. It's very pleasing, very photogenic, and that is why twilight or blue art is one of our favorite times to photograph cityscapes. So that's it for tip number one. Photograph your cityscapes during golden hour and at blue hour or twilight. Tip number two, compose for density. When we are searching for a composition to make and when we are faced with a typical cityscape scene, it is best to train our cameras, our phones, in areas where there are a lot of tall buildings clustered together. So clusters of tall buildings are more interesting, more dynamic, more interesting to look at. So you can use your zoom function of the of your mobile phones that's usually done by just pinching on the screen so you can zoom and to train your mobile phones your cameras to areas where there are a lot of tall buildings clustered or bunched up together to make for a more interesting shot tip number three use hdr mode high dynamic range or hdr mode is a feature wherein our cameras our phone cameras are able to take multiple shots at different exposure levels and combine all those shots together into one photograph wherein the exposure is balanced. Yung mga phone cameras po kasi natin, hindi po siya capable enough to capture very intense bright areas or light at the same time capture areas where, are, where there's very deep dark shadows. Hindi niya po kayang pagsabayin yun. It's either the shot is leaning towards the bright areas or the shot is biased towards these dark areas. So HDR mode is a feature where the camera can balance the exposure between bright and dark areas and come up with a single shot where the exposure is well balanced. Halimbawa, kung kukuha na natin yung sky and we put our exposure bias towards the sky, we might be able to capture the blue color of the sky as well as the clouds very clearly but yung cityscape natin sa ilalim ay magiging madilim at uh, wala na tayong makita doon. On the other hand, if we put our exposure bias towards the cityscape, towards the foreground, we might be able to, to reveal um, features on the buildings, on the houses, maliwanag na po yun, pero yung sky naman natin ay washed out or blown out. 
So yung HDR feature, yun na po yung automatic ng ibabalance ng phone cameras natin, yung exposure para sa sky at sa cityscape. Nang sa gayon, hindi na, hindi na masyadong maliwanag yung nasa taas at hindi na masyadong madilim yung nasa ilalim. Balansyado na po siya. And tulad po ng pag-adjust ng exposure manually, pwede po natin itap yung, yung screen natin, iba't ibang area sa screen natin, habang naka, nakakompose or nakatutok sa cityscape para makuha po natin yung exposure at effect na gusto natin while naka-on yung HDR mode. So ayun po ang tips natin on how to take better cityscape shots using your mobile phone cameras. I hope may natutunan kayo. And tulad po nung sinabi ko ng first video, it's really best if you have or you use a tripod or a phone holder tulad nito. Pag meron po kayong tripod, makakapag long exposure kayo so mas magiging maganda, mas malinaw yung mga shots ninyo kahit na madilim na or during twilight. And at the same time, maayos po talaga ninyo yung composition ninyo. Mas magiging stable yung mga shots ninyo at magiging sharp. So, ayun na po. Hope you enjoy all these tips. And once again, stay safe, stay healthy. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye!